<laughs> Welcome back to Batman the Telltale Series. I'm your host, Martini Pictures. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! On a chessboard? You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I can well, look at something, but I don't know what. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. Wait, what? I can't taste anything! What? I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. I could tell the my character was drifting off, and I kept wanting to like, go to the right. That's why I would stop every now and again. I'm you just remember like. Remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Doctor Leila? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes. Well. What the? <laughs> my God, they're everywhere. No, no you, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. No! <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. You have to think think and wonder, why is he given all of this freedom? What has he progressed with? Episode 4. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> well, but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. The one Not with a the big puppet? fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like I know this, this character. I'm a giver. That's gonna be what Zaz. I, say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. I can't tell who Sock Puppet is. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. I know exactly Ooh, who Leland's gonna I end up forgot. coming. Here. What is this? Why do I feel as if like I'm being set up? Cabinet. No, 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 I didn't want to use the key right away. I just... Yeah. Nurse's station. That's gate. The way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. Nurse's cookie station. Crumbs. That's it. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. All right. Thanks for the help, I asshole. Solve the cookie riddle. Not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's just. It, it's just. It's just boy. Hmm. Not the right key for this. Okay. So long as I don't test the key on everything, like willy-nilly, and in the open, I think I'll be fine. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? 
No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Arnold Wesker. I don't know that character. I'll look at this chest and see if... Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. Did I waste my time? However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. I'll talk to him later. Let's test. No reason. Oh, duh, I already looked at this. Lewis. That wasn't me. I I'm sane, Lewis. And, and that was... <laughs> that was crazy, Lewis. You see? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Well, don't worry. I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. In a certain sense, yes. Uh, sure. Doctor says that's against the rules. For the rest. All right, let's just. I'm not mind control. Let's just test this one. Doesn't work there. I can continue it. I can. I can continue to look at that. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Oh, this is that guy. Okay. Orderly. Talk to. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. I can always talk to this guy. You. Hello. Hello. Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Hmm. Okay, so I can continue to talk to him. Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. I'm afraid to make a wrong move here with the key and any of the people. Yep, and this is Zaz. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Mm, no, I already know what the scars are for, so... Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. Okay, now I'll just talk to John Doe, or Joker. <laughs> Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one, has become a lot more interesting lately. Yeah. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. 
After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. I hey. thought you and the man were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good run, right? This isn't gonna be any fun if you just sit there. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on our rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm mm -hmm. gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. <laughs> ah, oh, oh my god! Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you revenge just like you got your revenge on Coppletot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't oh, be yeah. ashamed. That is it's true. in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does, too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Hmm. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. <laughs> so, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But mm. what's one favor between friends? Sure, one favor that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. This hey, can go Zaz. bad. Hello, Zaz. Oh, this can what go terribly bad. Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! This game feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Huh. Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Damn it! Close security! Oh, that's not... Fuck. Use Gordon connection, use lawyers to get out. Uh... GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now. And Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> go get the... Now go get another cop to help oh, you out. Oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Hmm. A serious house. Whew. Yikes. I think in these later episodes, every decision that I make is going to be excruciatingly painful for me. Like before, it was just like a little bit of like, eh, do I really want to do this or do I really want to do the other one? This is now like every single movement, if I fuck up, it can lead to something disastrous. Or am I just, or I might just be thinking about this in a whole totally wrong perspective and everything just might lead up until the final moments and it doesn't really matter how many choices I pick it's just going to end up the same anyway the outcome is going to be the same but my decisions are going to be different regardless anyway I guess all I can really say is if you liked any part of this video don't forget to leave a like down below leave any comments or any videos you want to see in the future and don't forget to subscribe as well as ring the bell to let you know when I post another video but in the meantime I'll be signing off a rigatoni guy smash you